Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Hey, welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez. I've got a bunch of stuff here that I've been meaning to open. This is all third-party stuff from various different companies, and I thought maybe we should cut the tape on a few of these and compare and contrast. So let's do uh, Planet X. Planet X is one of my favorite things. Planet X. A lot of their stuff comes from the uh, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron video games. It's a video game I worked on back in the day. Uh, they've made that Trypticon, Dinobots, Insecticons, Perceptor, Paddles. This is Ironhide. So let's start with Planet X. Uh, box is nice. It's glossy. It has a silk texture to it. Uh, but there's no tape. That's all right. So this is a nice box. I do want to keep this in somewhat good condition. So see what I did there? Back in the 80s, you used to stick your finger in here and then pull the flap back. And you get that big crease right here. Well, you know, you take your, your knife, put it in. You obviously want to put the sharp side away from the part you're, you're lifting towards. And that way you can open the box without creating a nice crease. All right. Let's see here. We've got weapons packed in bags. All right, and well, we've got a, uh, a plastic tray. Pretty standard. It's a nice size figure. I would say this is almost masterpiece size. Definitely uh, old school Voyager size. Ah, but there's tape on it. Good. Snip. Snip. It's a uh, fruity aroma. Hints of uh, vanilla. Nutmeg. And oak barrels very nice so there's no ties on this he comes right out this is uh, planet X Mars is the official name now what I actually like about the packaging here is that they take the the care you can tell it's done by by people who understand how collectors work there's these little plastic films on them on certain pieces that you don't want to get scuffed just by shipping in the transport, uh, in the transportation process, from factory to customs to distributor to your house. In this case, it came from Big Bad Toy Store. One of my preferred shopping venues. All right, so it's pretty good. Um, you know, the one thing I will notice about Planet Planet X, and, and they've been pretty consistent about this. At times, the plastic does feel brittle, and the sharp parts are sharp. You will cut yourself. That uh, Trypticon they made, it came in two pieces. It's gorgeous. You definitely are going to cut yourself putting that thing together. All right. So, let's slide this back in the box. We don't need to uh, open instructions or weapons right now. So instructions come individually packaged. It has a card with it. Weapons are individually bagged. Here's our figure. Definitely Voyager size. I mean, this could, if you wanted to, sit on your masterpiece 
Shuff, no problems. Yeah. All right, so that's Planet X. This is Planet X. Vajorvis? Vajov? Vajov? All right, moving on. This is uh, reformatted. This is Mastermind Creations, one of my other favorite companies. Today I got my three favorite third party companies. I got Planet X, I got Mastermind Creation, and I've got X Transbots. Yes, I said X Transbots. So, this is one I've been waiting for a long time. I'm a big fan of uh, Idwa. Uh, a lot of people say it's IDW, it's actually pronounced Idwa. Uh, these are heavily inspired by the comic books. Um, this is uh, Knee and Foxwire. And I forget their other names. So there's no window box on this. Standard reformatted box. It's got a nice silk texture to it. Very glossy where the figure is. All right, so this is actually photographed. These are actually uh, 3D renders versus a picture versus artwork on X Transbots. So uh, let's cut the tape on this. Look, we're gonna cut it, snip, and then we're gonna flip our blade over. We don't wanna create a crease here. So, because I respect the company, flip our blade, bring it up towards the flap, and there it is, it's opened. This is the twofer in here because uh, they're smaller characters. All right, so this has a uh, plastic tray as well. Figures are transformed in their vehicle and beast modes. Uh, the weapon actually comes uh, in the tray as well. And the tray is sealed. So the big difference between the trays of um, Mastermind and uh, Planet X is that the tray for Planet X really does a good job of keeping the figure in there. Trays that are, I don't want to say, I guess you could say they're kind of generic, where it's not necessarily form-fitted. They are to a degree, but not, not to the degree that Planet X is. They're general shapes. I would say. You've got more, more movement in there, so more of a chance for something to scuff. I do like the fact that um, the weapon is taped down. I think some of that movement was the chain, so. All right, we got some parts that fell out. Uh, Mastermind Creation, known for uh, their parts being individually bagged. All right, so these are some alternate faces, some uh, tools, uh, alternate head. Alternate beast head is uh, is bagged. Uh, and just like Planet X, there's no wires or anything holding anything down, which I like. I don't need wires holding down an adult collectible. So, yay. Uh, these are really made for your generation shelf or your chug shelf. I'm a big fan of that. Not a whole lot of people making stuff for the Generations toy line. Everyone seems to be focused on Masterpiece. Uh, and that's why I like Planet X. That's why I like Reformatted. Planet X, yeah, you can kind of play in the Masterpiece world. But I include them on my generation shelves. Reformatted, they're definitely on my chug shelf. Uh, these figures, I'm very excited to get these figures. So, uh, an improvement over previous Mastermind Creations figures in that it's not sharp. There's some pliability to the plastic here, especially uh, here in the horns for the Turbo Fox. That's, pre that's pretty good because that's, that's an area I can see that's going to be fragile and break. So the fact that it's a, a pliable plastic, I really like that. That's good. Hmm. So unlike Planet X, when we open reformat, it takes a little bit of time uh, in this particular case to get your figures to look the way they do. 
Uh, I've had reformatted figures come uh, transformed, perfectly transformed. Just pop them out, roll them down the street. Just a few quick maneuvers and kind of gets you to where that Turbo Fox needs to be. And if I'm not mistaken, this gun is actually the other character, right? They made a few years ago. I forget his name. He actually transforms into this gun, I believe. This is a pretty cool weapon. You know what? You know what Transformers has gotten away from? Weapons like this. This weapon doesn't transform or collapse into anything. It doesn't fit on anything's back. It's just a weapon. It's just something you pick up and you shoot with. I like that. Gives it a nice bit of realism to it. I want to I want to believe Transformers aren't born with weapons that just fold into them like RoboCop. All right. X Transbots. Klaatu, Neptune or uh G2 Neptune. Let's do let's do you know what? I say we do both because we're really at two different sizes here. Let's start with Neptune. This is the purple chromed Neptune. I cut it, flip the blade over. Again, I respect the company too much and their their product I adore, so I want to keep the box nice. All right. Instructions. Bad. We've got various assorted goods, a peach ball, a pail, <laughs> an anchor, uh, alternate face. All right, so that's, that's, that's fun assortments. A little uh, screwdriver. All right, so here it is. It's a plastic tray. It's perfectly transformed. And there's no tape. There's no tape. But that's the tape was the box was taped so it's okay that there's no tape on this again you can tell it's done by collectors because it came in a little bag to prevent scuff marks while in transit wow this has this has a really nice weight to it and it's a really good purple too it really captures the essence of the of the g2 version that's really nice I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so we'll put this to the side just so we can compare it to Klaatu. See, this is this is shaped perfectly to the figure. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. I like that. That's important. All right. Let's open Klaatu. This is a bigger box. This is also x Bot, But let's compare the bigger size x Bot to the smaller one. These are for your masterpiece scale. So look, check this out. Styrofoam. I'm not a fan of styrofoam. However, I'm not a fan of it for environmental reasons. It does an amazing job of keeping the figures intact. Is there tape? Yeah, it looks like there's haphazardly placed tape. No, no big deal. How, you know, when something comes in styrofoam, I do believe it needs to be taped. Look at every statue you get. It comes in styrofoam, it's taped. All right. So, there's a little wiggle room in there, but that's anytime you put something in, in styrofoam, there's a little wiggle room. Uh, let's see, everything is individually bagged to prevent scuff marks, uh, and the figure itself is individually bagged. Accessories bag, 
to prevent scuffing. That's really nice. So, um, Eric Siebenhauer told me a great story back when I was at Hasbro about animated. So the idea was, uh, and I forget if, if he came up with it or Derek Wyatt came up with it. So the idea was that Cosmos was going to come to Earth, right? And he's this really cool spaceship. But he lands on Earth, or, or he crashes on Earth, and he's like, oh, I've got to assume an alt mode. But he crashes on a B-movie set, and he scans a flying saucer prop. And that's how he becomes the flying saucer. That would have been awesome. All right, so we've cut the tape on a bunch of things. You know what? I've got the other Neptune. We just opened the purple one. This is the original one. I wonder if everything is the same in there. Like, I wonder if the tray is the same. Ooh, box is tighter. Let's see. And it's the same. Okay. I expected as much. Can't say I'm surprised, but the tray is the same. So, out of all the packaging here, uh, I will give it to uh, Planet X as the, as the best of all three. But again, all three are my favorite companies for third-party stuff. So, um, that was Cut the Tape. Uh, my apologies to anyone who was expecting me to do Cyberverse stuff. Uh, I didn't get to it. Maybe next week. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, upcoming episodes include... Uh, I've got a Brave Max. I've got that Star Wars sales barge. Um, i got a bunch of Japanese Armada stuff that I need to open. Um, oh! And speaking of third parties, I've got these guys. So uh, stay tuned for that on Cut the Tape. Um, I enjoy the third party stuff. I think, I think that was cool to open that. All right, guys. Thank you very much.